Week one of the college football season officially in the books. We're heading into week two for your Alabama head-to-head. -head. I'm Lauren Sisler. And I'm Kevin Skarbinski. We're talking Alabama, Fresno State. Fresno State, which is about to experience the greatest disparity in opponents in the history of college football. Last week, the Bulldogs played something called Incarnate Word. This week, <laughs> Alabama. That's like going from fighting a chihuahua to a rhino. <laughs> And Kevin, I think that also points to the fact that this is more like week Tua. And I'm giving credit to Michael Casagrande for that one. He's been dying to say that, so I did it for him. Week Tua, Tonga Vailoa. You're going to see him play this week. But I want to see more from Jalen Hurts. I think that the, the biggest concern that we have is exactly what they can do. Um, I don't think we saw anything flashy. I think that we're still going to see progression from him. But I think the verdict is still out. People want to know what that backup quarterback is capable of. So I think that's a big question mark here. Also, injuries. Are these linebacker injuries going to be a concern moving forward? That's the story of this week is which freshmen or little used upperclassmen are going to get their time to shine. And everybody wants to see Tua Tungavailoa. Everybody wants to see the left-handed left -handed Hawaiian sensation and come in and throw the ball all over the yard. And that's really something Alabama's got to do. Not just, they could, look, they could not throw one pass in this game and win this game. But they need to improve their offense for when they be play better opponents down the road. Can Jalen improve his passing? He didn't look much different in that first game than we saw during the playoff. Their third down conversion percentage, horrible. Three of 16. After going two for 15 against Clemson, against Clemson, which was one of the reasons they lost to Clemson in the national championship game. So how soon will we see Tua? How much will we see Tua? That's the story of this game. And I'd like to, you know, special props to special teams. They did a great job, outstanding job. I said this before, Nick Saban says, it doesn't matter if you're a two-star, three-star, four-star, five-star. Let go of the ego. You're going to go out there and play special teams and obviously pay dividends against Florida State. Nobody else in the country has a five-star running back who's the starting running back blocking a punt to change a game. All right, Kevin, it is prediction time, and I will go first. Look, you got to imagine Alabama gets so hyped up for this Florida State game. You have to you have to see that there's probably going to be a little bit of deflation this week going up against Fresno State. And historically speaking, in the last 10 games, Alabama has been favored by 35 points or more. Yeah, they've only covered the spread twice. And we also didn't see Nick do his Nick fit during his Monday press conference. Typically speaking to the players, although he always lashes out on the media, unfortunately. My prediction for this game, 35-7, Alabama wins. Yeah, that makes perfect sense, Laura. Yeah, there's going to be a come down. There has to be. When, you're, when you spend the entire offseason getting ready for number three Florida State, now you turn around and play a team that just played incarnate word. No, you're not going to be as hyped. You're not going to be as buzzed. And that's human nature. And that's why Nick Saban usually throws one of his Nick fits. He didn't do it before the game. He may save it for afterward, after they struggle again. When they've played these classic openers and then come back with it against a dog with fleas, as they've done about six times since 2008, they haven't scored more than 41 points. I haven't given up more than 14, but they win handily, they look, win ugly, and then Nick Saban gets mad about something, and maybe he chews out Lane Kiffin. Maybe it'll be Dryan Dayball this time. Alabama wins, obviously, 38-3, and Tua goes to touchdowns.